there's a group, looks like maybe, I don't know, 10 or so. <laughs> a little bit complicated. I got a big one right in the middle. Okay, Lynn, you got the one on the right. He's gonna run right at us. Go to the left. Stopping by the range here tonight before we head out. We've got three guns tonight. Andrew is with us. Ooh, a little to the right, but I don't know if I just pulled it or not. We're gonna make sure all the optics are sighted in on zero before we have an excellent time tonight. See if you can put one in the center of the target and then you can aim for the one. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much. Do one more right where I was going. You know, one of the benefits of this Pulsar Thermion 2 is it has multiple color palettes. I believe it's up to eight. Yes. I personally run a lot of the hot white more so than I do any of the other colors, but what is your preference on that? I like white hot as well. I mean, overall, I feel like it gives me the best contrast. I can see the animal coming in better, mm -hmm. and it also gives me clear identification as it's running in. Mm -hmm. I also have noticed ambient conditions, dew point, humidity can play a role in, in clarity of each color palette. So it's, being able to have that option and a choice in color palettes makes a big difference. Right, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So now that we got zeros verified, I think we're good to go. Ready to get out in the field and see what we can find tonight. I don't know how you topped last night though, so it should last be interesting to see how it goes. Pulling into the first field, we could see that there was a group of pigs only about 300 yards off the road. So we decided to get our gear out of the truck and move in. Left, there's a group, looks like maybe, I don't know, 10 or so. There's quite a few smaller ones and a few big ones in there. So we're hoping this will be a good, uh, good hunt for the three of us. Using that Axion and the LRF to be able to tell where the range of that animal is really was helpful. As we're making the stalk, we're always watching the body language of the pigs. They're gonna tell us if they're hearing or seeing something as we're moving in closer. So we kept moving. We had 150 yards, then 100 yards. So it was time to make the shot. I got a big one right in the middle. Hold on, let me nuke. All right, I'm good. Hang on, I gotta focus better. Mine just turned, but I got another one on target. I got the one far right. I got far left. Good. Good shot, Andrew. Wow. Good shoot. I think we got about six of them down or so. Yeah. There was a bunch of them falling. That second pig I shot at, I like took two steps to the right. So I went to like lead it on the right and he tucked to the left and took off. And I was like, oh <laughs> crap, now I just shot in the dirt. <laughs> These pigs are extremely tough. So some of them took a couple extra shots to put them down hard. But once they did, they stopped moving. Well, what did you think about that one? We're on our, on our way to the main spot and we decided to scan this field and, and what, there was about 10 of them. 15? I think so. They were all different sizes too. What a great hunt to start off the pig hunting for the night. We're going to get loaded up and move on to the next spot and see what happens. We came up on this next field and we could see a lot of heat signatures about 800 yards out. As we get our equipment out of the truck, we had to climb a barbed wire fence to get into the field. <laughs> a little bit complicated. Ooh, that was fun. That part of it was a little bit tricky, but once we were in the field, we had about 800 yards to go to get on them. What we thought was a big group actually turned into an even bigger group. These hogs are spread out all the way from left to right. To add an obstacle to the stock, there was actually a few cows that were in the field. It's very common that you will actually see hogs intermingled with the cows because they use them for protection. Those are cows. No, left more. Right towards those lights that way. Hold on a second. I mean, we can definitely sneak up a little bit further. I mean, if you think we can get closer. Yeah, 
I mean, we might as well try, right? I mean, it's up, up to you. I think we can. Y'all make the call. We just gotta watch that last born. I think he's the only one that I wanted the most, but... Let me just go, go down the road and then yeah, shoot, and shoot, shoot directly left because there's cows behind those in the distance. As we approached the heat signatures, we were positively able to determine through the thermal optics what we were looking at. We did pick out a big board that was closest to us and decided this was the shot opportunity we needed to take. I got the one in the middle. Let him turn. Caitlin, you got the one on the right. Okay. You good, Chris? Yeah, I'm good. As soon as mine turns, I'll start the countdown. Y'all ready? Yep. Three, two, hold on. Are y'all good? Mine just turned. Mine's walking away. I got a different one. Gosh, I got a different one. You're getting far. All right. Unfortunately, the biggest pig in the group, he noticed something was going on. He made a quick squeak, and it took the entire herd with him. They're moving pretty quick. We better just go for it. Yep. Y'all ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Shoot to the left. Don't go to the right. Yeah, watch them cows. Not a whole lot of shot opportunities. The hogs scattered like popcorn all over the field. There's pigs right in front of us. Coming right at us? Right in front of us. Oh, yeah. He's going to run right at us. Going to the left. Y'all shoot. I'm I got out. it, got it, got it, got it. Double tap. On your right. Is he down? Where'd he go? He's down. Okay, I'm not turning that way. There's one right in front of us. More? He's limp, he's limping. That was a headshot. That was the one that was right in front of us that got it back up. We went out to start gathering up those pigs, and now these ones were really big. They're about the same size. Yeah, he's bigger. Yeah, that's Oh, that's a much bigger one. Fatty. Fatty. Fatty, look at that. Uh, that stand didn't go quite as planned. Well, the problem was they were so kind of scattered yeah. all over the place and they're able to see a lot better than we really expected. So, you know, when one of them picks up on something and it kind of alerts the other. It, so was, it, it was pretty evident as the, soon as the one caught us. Yeah, yeah. he just snorted once and the rest of the, the group rest. took off. <laughs> yeah. I think the first shots weren't really very close. I'm sure it was. They were 140-ish or so yeah. by the time we got the first shots off. And They're big, much bigger pigs than I was expecting though, because they look close and then we like, man, that's 80 yards. That's where the rangefinders come in like crucial. Yeah, right. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they're big pigs, you know, so they give a really big thermal signature. Yeah, kind of worked out perfect for these two to come right up on top of us like that. Yeah, they close. did. But, uh, you know, it would have been nice to get the couple out of the other group. Yeah. But when they're that scattered, what can, what can you do? Can't do much. Another night of fun with more predators on the ground. I know Chris and I are ready for tomorrow night.